Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Today we're going to talk about one of the newest features coming to us as part of Tableau 2021.3 and that's the new rows step in Tableau prep. This step you can use to generate values or generate rows in between two date values or in between two numerical values. Um, now Tableau has been teasing this for a couple of days. They released this page a couple of days ago that describes all of the features coming to us as part of the Tableau 2021.3 release as a whole. But as you can see, the two new features coming to prep are these linked tasks and the generate rows. So today we're going to be talking about the generating rows. Um, but the exciting thing is if you notice this um, message at the top here, they've already rolled out this update to some Tableau online instances that I'm sure they're going to be continuing to roll out as they prepare to release the actual desktop application download. Um, so let's take a look at a use case and dive into the new feature. So I've just got a mock data set here that we're going to look into just real simple so that way we can take uh, a peek at what this step is doing. So let's use a clean step to take a look at the data here. So each row is its, has its own unique record, so there's no duplication. And there's two date columns here. There's a create date field and a complete date field. So if the ticket has been completed, there's no, or there is a date. If it hasn't been completed, there's no date. And what I want to do is I want to create a daily snapshot that says how many total tickets are in my backlog or still open. Uh, but because there's only two date fields here or two dates, I need to fill in all of those dates in between. Now, normally what somebody might do is create a calendar table that just has a bunch of dates and then do a join on it to sort of get that effect of having all of the dates in there and only the records with an associated date to fill in those gaps there and do some more calculations in between. But the new rows step allows us to do some of that without um, going through the extra steps. So what I also need to do here though is because I'm using two columns, I also want to be able to say for this ticket that since it's not completed, then it's still open today. So I'm going to create a calculated field here and call this last open day and say if the complete date is null, then return today's date, else return the complete date. Because once a ticket is completed, uh, it's no longer in my backlog and not really relevant to the data. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my new rows step. And it's going to error out initially because I don't have anything selected. We've got a couple of options here. One is if we were trying to fill rows um, from one, one column and the other when we're using two fields. So in our case right now, we're using two fields. So I'm going to select value ranges from two. And it gives me a list of rows that are or columns that are compatible with this step. So I'm going to use my create date as my start field and my last open date as my end field. And it's going to create this new field called new rows one. So I'm going to rename that to snapshot date. And it also allows us to specify an increment so we can specify the number of days or we could even do a week or monthly snapshot. So this is already going to be really useful and I'm sure the longer that this is out that we're going to see a lot more ways that this can be applied. Now by default it has this um, null or zero as values that the new rows should have. So you can see for this ticket it returns a zero on the subsequent rows that are being generated. But we want that value to carry over because we're creating a snapshot. So I'm going to change my selection here to copy from previous row. And so that's going to allow my ticket number to duplicate and have a value for each one of these dates. And so now what I can do is I can indicate that since this date here, there was no complete date, that it is uh, still open. So I'm going to create a field called status. And we'll say if the snapshot date is equal to the complete date, then the status is resolved else the status is open. So that will allow us to indicate the status of that ticket on each date that has been generated. And then what I can do is I can 
add a field so that way I can aggregate these. So I can say, let's call this um, open tickets. And we'll say if status is open, then one, else, zero, and and you can also see here in this pane that says generated rows, it shows us the dates and, and how this new row step has been applied and affected the data set. So if the create date is 9-4 and the last open date is 12-20, it fills in those rows in between. So it's just giving us a sample and showing us this is how your data set has changed, which is really smart because it allows us to still understand the structure of our data as we're manipulating it and changing it. And so now I've got my open tickets here. And so what I can do now is create an aggregate step and I can say for every snapshot date and give me the number of open tickets. And so now that it's aggregated, another thing I like to do because uh, Tableau prep doesn't always put values in a sequential order. Um, what I do is I add a clean step here and I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm just going to call this row ID and say order by uh, snapshot date ascending do my row number function. And so this is just going to create a row number for each ascending date, but that's going to force prep to uh, sort my, my table in a sequential form. So now you can see here's my earliest snapshot date and the open tickets on that date. And you can see how it's changing. So initially it's just keeps increasing, increasing. Um, and as we keep going, you'll start to see it, you know, take some changes up and down. And so what we can get to when we scroll all the way down to the bottom is our final total of, of everything that's been opened since the initial date in here, this is how many tickets are still open. So this is really useful when you're trying to manage a backlog um, and see how much progress you're making over time versus trying to say, you know, at a month view, here's how many tickets were created that this month. And of those created, here's how many are still open. Um, this gives us that daily breakdown of, you know, what is still in our backlog. So that's just one of the ways that we can apply the new rows step. I'm sure the more that I get a chance to play around with it, that there will probably be some other use cases that we can apply it to and learn how to manipulate the data to work how we need it to. Uh, just be aware when you're using it to pay attention to how it's changing your data structure and be sure that you're selecting the right options and really validate and review how that data is changing. Um, other than that, if there is specific use cases you want me to cover, let me know and I'll put together a video on that. Um, if you're enjoying the channel, leave me some comments and some feedback so I can continue to improve. And other than that, I hope to see you in the next one.